CNN is done after what two disgusting anchors were caught doing to little girl on live TV, CNN anchors caught some nasty heat when they assumed an American Indian spelling bee winner could read Sanskrit. It turns out that she probably can't read Sanskrit, she's a California resident, and people are calling this racist because the anchor assumed she could read Sanskrit due to her nationality. Oh Crimea River! It was an honest mistake. How does the anchor know if she can or cannot read this? The girl was participating in the script's national spelling bee which means she's probably extremely smart. The kids in that competition are typically brilliant, so it's almost a good guess to assume someone like her is intelligent enough to know multiple languages. This little girl is probably smarter than half the people reading this article, so there was actually a very high chance she did know Sanskrit. If she did, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. Are people calling out the anchors because they're on CNN? If so, that's blindly stupid. Sure, CNN pumps out a ton of garbage, but if a Fox News anchor said this, then us right-wingers wouldn't give them heat. We would laugh. If we say we wouldn't laugh, then we're lying. I'm laughing out loud at this because of how stupid it is that we're even talking about it. This is one of those what do you mean you people moments where someone accidentally makes a comment that sensitive people consider racist. Is CNN done? No and we don't want them to be done. We need CNN to stay strong so that we always have something to crack jokes about. Every industry needs to have a bottom of the barrel and CNN is our bottom. Say Susan Benish CNN guesses the US national spelling bee winner is used to using Sanskrit. If she were Jewish would you say your real language Hebrew? Maybe she would say her name in Hebrew if she was Jewish. It's not racist, it means the person is intelligent enough to know two languages. It's actually a compliment. Say Jeremy McClellan 12-year-old Ananya Vinay won the national spelling bee so naturally CNN had her on to spell Kuff and say some racist stuff to her. It's not racist, that's a fact. But... You're an idiot and that's also a fact. Say Asha Daya CNN anchor assumes spelling bee champ, who happens to be of Indian descent, uses Sanskrit to find the origin of a word. Watch, Asha is fairly pretty and has great hair, but she retweets Dere McKesson which makes her irrelevant AF, as F asterisk CK. Anyone who retweets that vest wearing attention whore is no longer considered relevant in their industry. Also, feminism sucks. Say Mayamir Chandani in Sanskrit, which is what you're probably used to using. Really, at CNN this is what you say to the kid who won the English spelling bee? Considering how smart these kids are, it was a fair assumption. Stop creating false problems out of simple gestures that aren't meant to be anything more than what they are. A CNN anchor became the target of rebuke for assuming that the 2017 national spelling champion, a California resident who's of South Asian descent, is used to using Sanskrit. Alizin K. Rhoda and Chris Cuomo were talking to 12-year-old Ananya Vinay on New Day after Ananya's Thursday victory at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Toward the end of the interview and after several awkward seconds of asking the sixth grader to spell Kuff K. Rhoda joked about the origin of the gibberish that President Trump conjured on Twitter last week. It's a nonsense word. So, we're not sure that its root is actually in Sanskrit which is what you're probably, uh, used to using, so, I don't know. Anyway, Kame Rhoda said. Vinay, an Indian American, is from Fresno, California criticism of Kame Rhoda's comment has since been circulating on social media. Many said her comment was racist, while others were simply in disbelief that the CNN anchor had made such an assumption. Say to Ray McKesson did she really just say Sanskrit? Folks out here extra comfortable saying any old thing. Yet, what's wrong with thinking someone is intelligent enough to speak a second language? It's not like they suggested that the girl rides flying carpets and played a princess in a Disney movie. This was a compliment, not a racist saying. This is libtards making problems with their own leftist CNN when there's no true problem that exists. It's hilarious that I'm actually defending CNN anchors but it's because the liberals are so damn moronic in their craziness that it's mind-blowing how obviously stupid this is. Bring those anchors over to Fox. I like when people say whatever they want and don't care about people's feelings or who they offend.
The people complaining need to get a grip on reality and realize that this was not a big deal and it should not ever be considered one. Check out the screenshot of this bucket face chick. I don't even know who she is, but she had me blocked. I must have struck a nerve with this one. Varsha, Varsha, Varsha. You know you're an attention seeker when you place the dot in front of the at symbol so everyone else in the world sees your message. You're not trying to have a conversation with CNN, you're trying to get retweets. Didn't work, but nice try, whoever you are who has me blocked. After making the comment about Sanskrit, Kame Rota turned to Cuomo, who wrapped up the interview by praising Vinay's performance at the spelling competition. You did a great job. You know what I love about this. Cuomo said. Not only did you make yourself proud and your family, but do you know that there are kids all over the country, probably the world, who are going to look at you and say, I want to put in that work. I want to be a champion. I want to spell like her. So what this means is that they complimented the spelling bee champion and told her she's basically an inspiration to girls all over the world. Think about it. She's a champion spelling bee contestant who dominated her competition. She's talented, smart, and awesome. This kid is a winner and she knows it. Her parents know it. Everyone knows it. Everyone except for the lefties who want to ruin the girl's moment by blowing an innocent comment out of proportion. To the people making a big deal out of this, could you please shut up? Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.